Bonnie, happy Sunday. I am here today because I'm going to talk about my, oh my gosh, this box is so heavy, my wallflower collection. <laughs> How to use a wallflower. And I also, oops, I got my two new ones over here. I also wanted to talk a little bit about um, what Bath and Body Works is doing on their website as part of this whole coronavirus. Because you know, we're all in this together. It's scary. I'm staying home as much as I can because I have an elderly parent that I live with and, um, you know, I'm home. <laughs> so I'm going to keep making videos. Cross my fingers here. I got a lot of stuff. But first thing I wanted to talk about was Bath and Body Works on their website. They've got a message that obviously we all know that U.S. and Canada stores are closed. However, they did say that they're going to try and move all their production to online because people still do, people need, you know, shower gel and um, soap and stuff. So I think it's awesome that Bath and Body Works is still producing and shipping out stuff. I did order some of the new soaps because I think mental health is important too. So I will be showing you the new soaps as they come in, whatever I order, I'll do the new stuff. Um, they do have their new uh, Perfect Peony line, uh, pe Perfect Peony line online. <laughs> I gotta spit that one out. Um, they actually, some of the products are actually sold out already. They, they, a lot of people really wanted this, and they maybe didn't like make as much as they thought they were gonna make. So a lot of it is sold out. But keep checking back. Um, also, hand sanitizers. There's a little note about hand sanitizers that they said they're trying to restock those. I am probably not going to buy any more hand sanitizers because I have so many of them. Um, I will, you know, let other people uh, get first dibs on those. I am not hoarding hand sanitizers. <laughs> so anyway, wallflowers. Oh my gosh. So I really love the idea of good aromatherapy in your home during times like this because, let's face it, we're home, and you want your home to smell good. <laughs> uh, we've got our candles, but um, a lot of people can't burn candles, or they don't like candles for whatever reason, so I do like that we do have our wall, uh, the wallflower option. Um, I did just buy, before all this mess happened, I got the Waikiki Beach Coconut, which I really like this one. Now, if you're just starting off in wallflowers, if you've never tried them before, they are confusing. The whole thing that you learned about Ready Tidy Lucy Lefty, throw that out the window. They open the opposite, and we're so conditioned to do it the right, you know, the one way. But when you're opening a wallflower, first you have to take the paper off. There's like a plastic seal on here. And then you have to turn it the opposite way you would think. There's a little arrow on top, but I can't see the arrow very good. It's hard to see the arrow. So when you turn it, what you're going to do is you're going to take the lid off. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Waikiki coconut. And then you're going to put the wick into the... Um, the unit here. Sometimes they're a little difficult to get in. And then if you try and twist it the way you think you're supposed to twist it, it's not going to work. You have to twist it the opposite way. And then you're going to plug this into the wall and your fragrance is going to come out the top. I do find these very relaxing. I like the, um, I really got into the um, strawberry pound cake in the uh, this past winter. That one was so nice in the kitchen. It made my kitchen, see, look at me. I'm trying to put it on like I normally would. You gotta go opposite. It's so funny how our brains are trained um, all our life how to open something <laughs> and it's the opposite on these. So um, I do have the Waikiki coconut. That one was new. I like to keep the little um, papers on there because then I can see if I swap these out. This one is the Mango Mai Tai. Mango Mai Tai is, open these up. They do have the notes inside. Fresh mango nectar, exotic jasmine, um, and sun-kissed grapefruit. Um, what I try and do with mine is I have this box, and as I use them, I'll buy a couple more. Once again, I always do this every single time. I've been opening these for years now. Good. That smells like summer. I really would love some like 80 degree weather so I could sit outside um, on my porch. Unfortunately, it's like 50 degrees here. But this one is really pretty. 
Um, I like the fresh orange from this season. That one was really nice. I like the orange better than I like the, um, the orange candle. Some of my other favorites that I got this year, I got an Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. I got Vanilla Chai Latte. I wanted to smell Vanilla Chai Latte because I wasn't, I didn't really like this one as the candle very much. So let me see what this smells like in the wallflower. Um, let me know below, too, what your favorite ones are. Um, I know a lot of people love the Black Cherry Merlot. That one is, like, one of the strongest. See, when on the white, it's even harder to see the arrow. You know, Vanilla Chai Latte is kind of different. I don't know if I love this one. It smells kind of creamy. What are the notes in this one? They are steamed coconut milk, chai spices, and vanilla bean. Maybe that's what I'm smelling, the coconut milk. I don't know. I'm just... Vanilla chai latte is just kind of an odd scent to me. It's okay. Um, I wonder what this one smells like once it gets going. Um, by the way, this wallflower plug was the one that we got um, for free, the collectible one. I really like that one. That's pretty. Black cherry merlot. One of the strongest, you guys. I love that one. I do have a couple left over from Christmas. I have blueberry sugar. Um, I have, oh, mango dragon fruit. This one. I wonder what this one smells like. That one That one looks good. Um, I need to try all these. Linen and lavender I have. Uh, rose water and ivy. I have a feeling this one is strong. You know me. I don't like roses, but a lot of people do. And it's kind of a good aromatherapy if you're trying to, like, um, relax a little bit. Let me see what this one smells like. Oh, I don't like that one. <laughs> no. Rose water and ivy is way too rosy for me. Okay, we're going to put that one back. Um, I've got a couple. I don't know if I have any fall ones in here. I've got hot cocoa and cream. I've got, I've got a lot of the strawberry uh, pound cake. Um, oh, pumpkin apple. I got to smell this one, you guys. It's funny. I am like dreaming of fall. I am just, you know, very much hoping that we get through this. We flatten the curve. And we're back on track for fall because I think all of us are going to be incredibly happy and grateful once fall comes and we can smell things like pumpkin apple. It's funny. You know how smells trigger stuff? Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I miss fall. <laughs> I really do. I absolutely miss fall. That one smells amazing. Um, let's see here. I've got a twisted peppermint. Oh, white winter woods I've got. Pink fairy gumdrop. Um, cinnamon and clove buds. It was funny during my last semi-annual sale. The only one they had on sale was the cinnamon and clove buds. I'm going to open this one for you guys. I want to see how strong it is. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I, 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 I'm really hoping by semi June, I'm hoping we can all have a party online here and we're all out of our houses and, um, back at semi-annual sale at Bath and Body Works because we are going to be having the biggest, oh, I like this one. That smells good. The biggest semi-annual party sale that we've ever seen. I actually, um, I texted um, some of the girls that worked at the uh, store um, via Instagram just to make sure they were okay. And they're, they're my, 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 I miss my, my ladies at Bath and Body Works, but they said they're all doing good and they can't wait to uh, get back in the stores. So that was all good news. Um, spiced apple toddy. Oh my gosh. See, I do have a lot of the, oh, watermelon lemonade. This is a good one, you guys. I love this one for spring. Um, watermelon lemonade. This is a really strong one, too. Okay, so what else do we have? We've got, uh, oh, chocolate peppermint cream. I'll use that one. That one's nice. And a twisted peppermint. And I have a winter. So those, that's kind of my small little collection. I don't have a ton of wallflowers, but I do enjoy using them. I think I'm going to start using them more. Let me know your favorite wallflower. I'm really curious. Put that in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.